Okay, so I'm going to have a go at this question on the graphing calculator, the exam style question. We've got the two numbers P and Q. We need to calculate T here and then give it in two decimal places. We're going to take our answer there and write it in standard form or scientific form. Um, and then we're going to calculate the percentage error using T. So I'm reading the whole question through to see how many times am I using P and Q. I'm only going to use them once, but I'm going to use T a couple of times, so I'm going to save that value because I need to use it later down. So I plan my way, my strategy through. Let's start off with our first part. We're going to need to find the fourth root. So let's see if I can get this to work. Control, root. We want the fourth root, and we need... 3.32 times 10 to the power of minus 5, multiply by 5.67 times 10 to the power of 10. Make sure you use the EE button, it makes it much quicker. Press enter. We can see the number here, and we need to write this to two decimal places first. That's going to be 37.04. Next up, we need to write this number in a scientific form. So we have a times 10 to the k. So we also need to write it in three significant figures at that point. So this is going to be 3.70. Uh, 3 zero. zero is important. And I've moved it by one. So I'm going to write this. Lastly, we need to calculate the percentage error if an approximation of 40 has been used. So always put on your piece of paper the percentage error formula with your numbers in it. This will... Um, if, you make, if you make a mistake, this will still give you a method point. So put the formula and show what it is that you're putting into your calculator. So into the calculator, we are going to put um, three. Uh, we are going to put three point seven zero times ten minus forty, all over three point seven zero times ten, and we find the absolute value of that multiplied by one hundred percent. However, on the calculator, for this value, this is the exact value. This is the exact value. It's not 3.70. This is the exact value. So I want to use that answer there from the previous calculation. If you want, follow me through here on the board, guys. Look this way, Ella. Look this way. We press Control and Store. This will store the answer to the previous question. I can store it in the letter T. So if I want to use this in my calculations, all I need to do is so 2 times the letter T is going to give me, uh, it's going to double it. So I can use that in subsequent calculations. I'm going to press the templates button and pull up the absolute value. I'm going to press the templates button again, pull up the quotient. And then onto this, I'm going to put T minus 40 all over T. I'm going to take that answer. I'm going to times it by 100, so it gives me in percent format times by 100, and then I get this number. So rounding this one, this is the, uh, the correct answer, rounding this one to three significant figures, it's going to give me 7.99%. Okay. 